Jim Jam, Jim Jam, we got your face back. Bippity boppity, give me my face back. I don't remember that being how the line went. <laughs> sure it was. It was I don't even think Jim's the character who said that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he did. It was from the episode, the one where Dwight steals Jim's face. The one where Dwight steals Jim's face. I love how that uses yeah. the friend's naming scheme for the office. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my face is back on. <laughs> oh, good. Well, it, I was going to use the iCarly naming scheme, but I just went with the friends one instead. <laughs> I steal Jim's face. I steal Jim's face. I want Jim's face more than mine. That's a relief. Sticking all those faces on monsters. Who would even do that? Dwight. Anyway, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, money. I thought he was going like, to give her a big hug there for a second. Yeah, I did too. Stay back, Jim. Who wouldn't want to hug the blue? So I'd, I'd be careful. I wouldn't trust Jim. Although John Krasinski, mm, I kind of want a hug from him. Yeah, no, he's pretty hot. Oh my gosh, are we finally going to see Sarah? Yay! <laughs> the blue's Sarah. been waiting for this since the first time we left Greenhorn. <laughs> yeah, she has. It's her best friend. I look at the cute pose she's in. Aw, I like this 8-bit uh, music there, like the cloak coin sound. Yeah. Do you want to be Sarah? Sure. Why not? <laughs> I got to do a call. I got to do a British accent. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> That was awful. I thought. Would you say you're a Nintendo fan? Uh, what now? <laughs> Sarah's like, oh, oh my goodness. Do you even know me? We're only best friends. I'm Nintendo's number one fan. So, I've heard of these little figures you can get. They're called Amiibo. I wonder what they look like. I'm not sure how I don't know if I'm a big Nintendo fan. <laughs> That's a good point. But even though you've never heard of Nintendo, you might happen to have one on you, right? <laughs> Would you show me? Uh, what's an amiibo? <laughs> <laughs> really? Yay! Alright, so, um, can I see it? The way this works is, uh, Sarah will appear in, like, all the different maps in the world. And she'll actually be in a different costume every time. Like, she's Mario in this co in uh, this world. She'll be in, like, a Link costume in the next world. Oh, okay. And she has you to show her amiibo. And different amiibo actually unlock different costumes that playable characters can wear. So let me think. I think I have Sexy, actually, behind me. My Martha amiibo. Oh, I can get Sexy for you. Yeah. Hold on. Your British accent is honestly better than, like, Breath of the Wild Zelda. <laughs> I make a more <laughs> convincing British woman than her. Yeah, you do, honestly. <laughs> We should hire you. All right, so I'm not sure if Sexy will actually do anything here because I know not every single Amiibo unlocks a costume, but I think she just gives you, like, money or something. Oh. If it's one that doesn't, I don't want to be disappointed. I want to play with Marth. I know, right? Amiibo! Oh, I, I wish they said that, like, on 3DS. I know. Thank you so much! All right, moment of truth. Amiibo are so great! Why don't you take this? Ah, damn it. Game tickets. Just three game tickets. Now I was hoping oh. we actually get, like, a real outfit for that. Man. I know. I would add Mark to the party just for that. Oh, could you you could put the other party members in the outfit? Yeah, yeah. Just the playable one. Yeah. Oh, okay. If you have more, feel free to show me show them to me. <laughs> Can't get over your British accent. It's phenomenal. <laughs> well, can you just imagine like Marth in this party? Oh my god, that'd be great. He'd be so just like disgusted by all the women. Oh yeah, it. this big party of women. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's move on to the to the first level here, shall we? Yeah. Hello everyone, my name is Fabulous Fish. And I'm Katatui101. And we gotta saddle up because it's time to welcome back to Metopia. Yeah, Brooks like to go and get off of my back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a horse. That's why she's a saddle because Brooks bent over like a horse. Yeah. Alright, it's time for our first battle. I apologize so much for the delay between episode one and this. I did not have time for this to go anywhere near as long. Yeah. Alright, so Brooke is showing off. Show off. As characters level up with each other, they unlock new abilities they can do together. Show off being one of the characters just a little better, try to impress someone else they like. Oh, Brooke's trying to impress Dakota, that's cute. I know, cute. isn't that? So why don't we have, uh, have Brooke go again? Yeah. Because I think she just does straight more damage than Dakota at this point. Do it again, Brooke! She just likes watching Brooke. <laughs> don't we all? <laughs> Brooke we likes watching Brooke too. Yeah, I, I can't blame her. But actually, this is kind of interesting. Brooke? Being the thief here in the party was totally like a last minute decision we made. Yeah, she was, wasn't she? It was originally going to be uh, Neb's roommate, Carlford Ferdinander. <laughs> but um, we switched it to Brooke at the last second, specifically because Brooke was going to be the cleric, and we thought another character fit the cleric robe role a little bit better. Yeah, I, th I think that still rings true. Yeah, totally. Look, that cloud looks like a slime jelly. Looks more like a juicy goblin ham to me. I take it they're hungry? <laughs> yeah, probably. Oh yeah, they're hungry. Didn't they like literally just have full tummies last time we played? 
They're just always hungry. I guess it could be the next day, because they were like setting off the next day. That's true. See so how like Diamond David always does stat tracking? Yeah. One of the stats you should track for this game should be like how many in-game days have passed. Oh, that would be convenient. That'd be kind of cool to see. I'm curious now like how long their adventure is. Yeah. Well, all the tough path or the easy path? What's mm. what's the difference? One is tough, one's easy. Oh, I meant like... <laughs> Thanks. You just got schooled. I, yeah, I figured that much. All right, which way should they go? Um, Brooke wants to do the tough path. She likes the challenge? Yeah. All right, tough path it is. Dakota's like, are you sure about this? <laughs> Need some kitty cuddles. Oh, there, there's a cat in this game, isn't there? There is a cat coming much later. All right, time to see how our tough battle is. <laughs> Ew. One of the- Ew, gross. Oh, I still hate those things. Especially the one too. on the right there with that creepy ass face. That's the spot. Ooh, damn, she got them all. I know, gotta watch out though, they're coming for revenge. Oh no, look out, Brooke. Ooh, she's too cool to be hit. Too slow. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna do the regular old attack. I'm sorry if we fall silent every once in a while. We usually record a little later at night. We're actually recording midday right now, which means there's traffic going by, because welcome to hell on earth called Pennsylvania. Yeah, basically. So, that's pretty awful. One thing I was trying to say right before we started this fight was one of the hardest things about, like, casting this game was trying to figure out, like, which character should be in a party together. I really wanted, like, the final party to be Kato, Neb, and Carlford. Oh, that would have been great. But the thing is, you're rest <gasps> Dakota, no! <gasps> War oh, warning. Huh, look out! Oh, no! Oh, Dakota, no! <laughs> Smacks right Brooke. in the face. Brooke, you got a defender. Do it, Brooke. Also, the Miis were just looking at each other with their eyes, and I'm not used to that. <laughs> I got pretty used to just playing this game on 3DS. So anyway, um, I was like trying to figure out which character to go together, but like the thing is, I really want Carl for it to be this role, I really want Kato to be this role, and there's just no way to make that work because you only unlock certain roles certain points into the game. Oh, okay. Yeah, so like, that is why we don't necessarily always have the most fitting characters together, because I really don't want to break character, you know, I didn't want to make mm -hmm. Brooke a tank, for instance. Yeah, she wouldn't be a tank. Nah. Oh, I'm nice. so close to leveling up. Yeah. I love that just walk she goes into there. <laughs> Who, Dakota or Brooke? Or Brooke. <laughs> I know. Oh, but, oh, do you see her singing there? Oh, no, I missed it. She had, like, a musical notes popping off her head, just, like, singing in Brooke's ear the whole journey. <laughs> la, right. la, la, la. So, treasure chest, should we open it or leave it? Why would you leave it? I don't know if you're an idiot. <laughs> I feel like Neb would leave it, but... <laughs> They'd be like, nah, I don't need it. <laughs> Occasionally have like monsters pop out, but this game is so easy anyway. Yeah, I don't really think that'd be an issue. No, it's just worth it because even then you got experience for being. It's not like you're gonna lose a fight to the monsters in this game ever. Found an inn. Nice. And now while at the end, there's actually something else I need to bring up. Every time, oh, so cute. Actually, wait, there might be a cutscene here. Oh. Yeah, I'll, I'll save my oh. for after this. Oh. Oh, ding dong! Someone's here. <laughs> Leprechauns. Leprechauns. It's from Invader Zim. Uh oh. Someone's at the door. Who could it be? Oh no, it's him. <laughs> I'm at the door. <laughs> You're about to see my physical form. Oh, now, gross. Seems you've got company. Who is it? It's a new adventure. Defeating the Dark Lord would be difficult, just the two of you. So I called a new adventure to come and join your party. Oh, that's mighty nice of you. <laughs> <laughs> be ready with a warm welcome. There they come. Oh. Oh, she's so cute. She's I'm so tomorrow. adorable. Oh, is is happy glad to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> that was my attempt at tree speak. Are you going to convert all of her lines to tree speak? I'm, I'm going to try. Oh, God. I'm tomorrow. M M heal cleric. <laughs> Beautiful. Boo boo better. <laughs> I'm looking forward to to uh, 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 foot foot walking with you. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> so now we are joined by Tamaru from Bionicle. Yes. <laughs> Super obscure character who's not that relevant in the grand scheme of things. But my god, if she's not adorable. Oh, look at her, I know. Mm, be sure to play nicely and make Tamaru feel welcome. Hmm, I thought I called one more companion. I wonder what happened. Oh god, what did you do to her? <laughs> Well, I'm sure you'll get everyone together eventually. Look, you know where the last companion is. You know they probably just got lost. Yeah, probably. <laughs> For now, you're a party of three. Ho-ho. <laughs> They're a cute trio. Adorable. 
So I struggled for a while with like what trait to give Tamaru. I was torn between Airheaded, which is also what Dakota has, and Energetic, which is the fourth party member has. Yeah, so either way, it was going to be a repeat. Yeah, I ended up picking Energetic because I think that fits her a little better. Yeah. Also, I put her in her own room because I feel like Tamaru wouldn't just barge into them. Yeah, no, that's true. Also, now Tamaru can be a nudist by herself in her room. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, <laughs> reference to our Barak animation series, in case you're wondering. Yeah. Um, well, since she just got here, let's give her the Goblin Ham. Oh. oh, she hated it. Oh, yuck. <laughs> Terrible bad. Terrible bad. I have no more for her. How about some for Dakota then? She likes it. Oh my god. So yes, that is Tamaru. Um, we don't really have too many like pre-existing characters in our playable roster at the very least. I think she might be the only one who's on OC. Yeah. But she's an original design. Also, she is the reason why Brooke was bumped from cleric to thief, partially. And why Carl forgot bumped out of the party. It's because, like, I really thought the Tomorrow Me we made in the Me Maker was adorable. I know, the bangs are perfect. The headband, the tattoos. <laughs> Couldn't just pass it up, you know? No. Not at all. All right. Um, another thing you may notice is we have a fuck ton of arcade tickets that we did not have last time oh, we played. Jeez. Yeah, well, I want to see what the arcade is. So, um, first you're probably wondering where those came from. Yeah, well, I know we got three from, like... The, from Sarah? Yeah, from Sarah. We got a lot more than three. So every time I booted up this game in order to go to the meme maker to make some tweaks or check on stuff, we got a letter that just came before you even hit start game or before the title screen. Oh yeah. And then the game would autosave. <laughs> so here's here's one I happen to catch footage of. Uh, for the most part, these are all just kind of fluff. They don't really mean anything, so I think it's a big deal that we missed those. But I'm letting you know, we missed letters. Oh man. That aren't shown off in the last play, and we're probably not going to show most of them off. But in case our uh, inventory starts fluctuating, that is why. So, you want to see the arcade? Yeah. There are two games you can play in the arcade here, Roulette and Rock, Paper, Scissors. And oh. we're only ever going to play Roulette, probably. And I'll show you why in a bit. But first, I'll just do a free spin to see what it's like. Cool. Ooh, ooh. <gasps> oh. Ah. Got a morsel a of extra. Morsel. Oh, man, I wanted the megaphone. <laughs> Alright, so we got a morsel of XP, which is probably the worst thing to get. But why don't we just give it to Tamara so she can, like, catch up to the rest of the party. Yeah. Or oh. it looks like white there. It almost, like, like uh, propped her up there to the next <laughs> level. Uh, so Roulette is the game we'll play most, and uh, there's a reason why we'll get into a lot later. There's a big exploit on it. Everyone wins. It's very right. Rock, paper, scissors, on the other hand, is more like true gambling. Hey, you look like you're up for a rousing game of rock, paper, scissors. I've got 500 gold for anyone who can beat me. So this, this tool challenges you to rock, paper, scissors. And if you win, you get money. And this is fucking rigged. Mm -hmm. So rock, paper, scissors, you think statistically you have a, like a one in three shot of winning, one in three shot of losing, and one in three shot of drawing, right? Yeah. Yeah, he beats you like nine out of ten times. What a dick. Yeah, this is this is awful. Which one should we go for? Uh, do uh, do scissors. Scissors and broken cut to it. See? Yeah. Oh my god. He beats you every fucking time. Oh my god. God. So the point of this one is to get money, the point of the other one is to like earn prizes. But I'll make the argument that the roulette is actually better for earning money too, and we'll get to that later. Just want to see another round, see if we can beat him. Yeah, just, just try one more time. Alright. No, but I get 500 gold. You can do it, Brook. I'm completely fair. I'm not rigged. So fuck this tool. Alright, let's try... Do rock this time. Yeah, let's try to rock. Be nice and strong. I've seen people say that his animation beforehand tells you which one he's going to do. As far as I can tell, it's not true at all. Let's see. All right, draw. Let's see Rock again. Oh, God, we beat him. <gasps> nice. Oh, yeah, Brooke crushed him. <laughs> Good. I want to bash his goddamn scissor hand. His stupid box uh, head. Looks like he got me. Here's 500 gold, as promised. But wait, there's more. Are you feeling a lucky streak coming on? Uh, I'm not getting tempted by you. So what happens is if you win, you can choose to take the money or do again for double the money. I I'm not trusting him. So should you not do it? What would Brooke do? Oh... Uh... I think Brooke might. She, she's getting a little overconfident. All right, let's go. All right, come on then. I can take you. All right, which one should we do? I feel on scissors again. I was thinking paper, but don't don't trust me. Just go with your gut. Oh. Oh, I should have done paper. Damn it. And that's probably the last time we're ever going to see him. Yeah, fuck you. That guy, uh, he's just like a douchebag. Look at his smug ass glasses. I know. And you get so much more money with roulette with a little exploit I'll show off later. Uh, let's see who wants to spend gold. So Dakota still wants that megaphone. I want to give her the megaphone. Oh, but we like we didn't give Brooke what she wanted last time. No, and Tamara wants a squeaky staff. I thought it was a mallet so she can like <laughs> judge people. <laughs> the radio belongs. The radio belongs to Zoe. 
A gavel? Is that what it's called? Yeah, a gavel. Oh. Brooke! Oh, Brooke. We should have known better than to trust her. Oh my god. I thought, right. I thought you I thought you were a face we could trust, Brooke. <sighs> no, you can't. You can't trust a politician. No. Oh my god! <laughs> you guys! Really? Are you serious? <laughs> okay, what about tomorrow? <laughs> should we trust tomorrow? I don't know. I feel like... I feel like she's trustworthy. Yes, thank you. Oh, good. <laughs> Either now we're never gonna see your fight with her normal staff, just Aww. have the, uh, the squeaky one. Squeak. <laughs> squeak, squeak. <laughs> and why don't we do another outing? Or should we save those for the end of episodes? Uh, I want to do them at the end of episodes. All right, we'll do outings at the end of episodes then. Yeah. All right, shall we go back off yeah, on our adventure? Bye, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> I see a jiggling Jocelyn treasure chest up there. Oh. But before we go on to our next level, you may remember there was actually another path we didn't take there. Yeah, the easy path. Yeah. So ideally, we're going to be showing off every single path in this playthrough. And unfortunately, there is no way to skip right back to the fork. I really wish there was. Oh, man. That means we have to replay the entire path at the beginning, which means we sit there and watch Mies walk for a little bit. Oh god, you can't even just like go backwards, you have to no. go back to the beginning, that yep. sucks. And I mean, you get some experience grinding because you do the same fights again, but like, ah, this is just another issue I have with this mm -hmm. game's design. Yeah. Like I said, I'm super mixed on it, so we'll probably cut ahead to the fork. Alright. Three. Two. One. <laughs> Alright, so we arrive here at the fork in the road, and this time we're going to take the easy path. Sounds good. Yeah, I'm just not a biggest fan of, like, the way this works. I feel like this would be so much cooler if this was, like, a 3D environment you could just explore. I know, that'd be so cool. That was, like, my dream as a kid, to just have a 3D me game. You could just walk wherever. I bet you're going to involve these creeps. Oh, oh. gross. I hate Ew. them so much. <laughs> so our characters did level up at the previous fight we did, so they'll probably okay. show off all three of them got new abilities. Nice. We'll start here with Dakota's, which is Earworm. Sounds gross. Yeah, you. <laughs> Not as gross as the goblins, though. Yeah, no, their noses are disgusting. So she sings a song, and the goblins can get... <laughs> so it wasn't a hit with that goblin, so you can sell attack, because that one's busy dancing to the song. Oh my god, that's cute. Isn't that great? Yeah. <laughs> Bam. Oh, it's as cute as Brooke. Look how cute she is. Oh, I know. Brooke's, Brooke's adorable. You just, like, wrote a list of your wife as recently. You put Brooke as number two. Yeah, Brooke is my number two wife. I mean, look at her. She's so adorable. Even she's, as a me. She's pretty great. All these bees are adorable. Actually, so funny story about that. This initial party of four we're gonna have, like for this first world, this is an all female party. Yeah, it is. And it wasn't going to be, actually. It just ended up that way after some free planning. Oh, oh, she found oh. something. A potion bottle. What does she do? Uh, I don't don't drink it. Yeah, Brooke Brooke is smarter than to Don't trust drink that. random potions you find on the ground on the side of the road. Yeah. It looked like hot sauce. Uh, so I guess to tell the story. Tamaru wasn't gonna be part of the playable party initially. Right. She was gonna be an NPC we'd meet much later on, like the third world of the game. But what happened was said NPC had a hat, which meant that she wouldn't be able to wear her wig and thus wouldn't have her adorable little bangs there. Yeah, and we were like, no, she needs to have that wig. I know, I was like, I really wanted the bang thing, and then you calling her a nudist just cemented it for right. me. <laughs> yeah. So, so in case you don't know, Tamara's a nudist, that's just canon. Yeah. Um, you calling her a nudist just cemented it for me, like, we need her in the party. So initially, I had Brooke as the cleric, and I had uh, Carliford, one of my OCs, as the thief. Yeah. And um, you were never happy with Brooke as the cleric anyway. She didn't really seem like a cleric to me. Like, yeah. Ooh, a treasure chest. Oh, nice. It's dancing. I just kind of put in the cleric because I really wanted her in the main party, but like that was the only role open left. Yeah. So we put Tamara as the cleric because I figured that fed her a little better. And then we end up bumping Carl for it off the bar. He took Tamara's old role. Right. So yeah. then Brooke became the thief, which I think fits Brooke a little better anyway. I think so. It's like sassy. But then as a result, that means everyone in this initial party is a woman. Yeah, I know. I mean, that's okay, right? Yeah, all waifus, except for maybe not the fourth member who we'll see later in this yeah. video. Um, These three are waifus for sure. Look how cute they all yeah. are. So, uh, whenever they're, like, in rooms together, like, sometimes random activities will happen. Blah, 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 blah. Yes, I'm going to itch them. <laughs> <laughs> Tamara's into tickling, so that's all right. Oh, no. <laughs> Turns out you talk in your sleep. And you're loud. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> you kept yelling, not the blue ones. Must have been a good dream. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, that was what? a good dream. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Brooke. Your voice is cute. Aw. So they learned another thing too, that's concern. 
um, which I think is just like after a friend gets hit, the other person can like kind of help keep their morale up. Aww. And now, actually, I think I'm gonna separate these two because I feel like Dabloon and Tamaru will get along great. Yeah, they they need to befriend each other. I know, like they need to get along. They're both chatterboxes. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. All right, and Tamaru doesn't like the ham. That's right. <laughs> Yeah, I'd but... like to try to give everyone, like, everything if we can, but yeah. we should get Goblin Hand 2-star. Uh... Let's try tomorrow. Yeah. See if she likes it more than that, like, shit-tier Goblin Hand. Oh, no. No, she hates it. It's <laughs> terrible bad. <laughs> terrible bad. <laughs> All right, so we'll give, we'll give these two the ham. Look at that she happy face it. she's making. I know, it's so cute. I kind of wish in Tomonashi that I figured, like, feed me is in, like, a gathering like this. I know, right? Like a big dining hall. Okay, let's give the blue sign that she's begging for it. They're so hungry. I just want to feed them everything. <laughs> give them all the food. Well, <laughs> I think actually I'll be full. I will stuff them all with butterfly honey. Now, I think generally speaking, we're probably not going to go through everything at the uh, the inn when we're replaying a level we've already played. It'll only be after the end of a new level. Mm -hmm. This being an exception because it's still an early game. Yeah. And then, uh, let's see. Tomorrow, tomorrow wants, wants some. Oh, Dakota wants something too. First, I actually always go to the arcade. So as I mentioned last time we were here, I don't trust Mr. Uh, Mr. What's-His-Face. Mr. Tool Nugget. Yeah, Mr. Tool Nugget. However, I want to show you a little exploit I have here oh, yeah. with the, ar the arcade. This is actually the perfect setup for it. So as you see, statistically, we're most likely to get the toy dagger, correct? Right. That's a new weapon for the thief class, so Brooke can use it. I swear to God, if we don't get it... No. Wait. <sighs> we got it. I mean, the outing tickets are good. Yeah. I want to <laughs> see your exploit. All right, let's try this again. <laughs> clown music <laughs> really oh my god <laughs> really <laughs> this is why i shouldn't gamble yeah oh we got a bunch of goblin hands oh, though nice all right this time we're gonna show off the exploit <laughs> okay it ha all right i think we're good this time so you need a whole bunch of tickets to make this work right here the first one's the toy dagger which you're gonna give to brooke obviously right yeah Nice little wooden dagger. I feel like her default one's gonna be sharper. Yeah, right. Oh, well, whatever. She can clonk people with that one. <laughs> Bludgeon them with it. <laughs> now, here's what you do. Try to roll and get the toy dagger again. Uh-huh. Now, since Brooke already has a toy dagger, we don't need to give it to her again. If so the other two can't use it, what do we do? What, what do you... Oh, we sell it. You sell it. it. Oh. And you get money for it. Oh. And this is how you grind money in the game. Fuck Mr. Rock, Paper, Scissors. <laughs> this is what you do to get money. You wait for it to be this layout where you have a bunch of shit. Oh my god. Now, I'm probably not going to do too much to the exploit now, because ideally you actually wait until you have um, something more expensive there. Oh, okay. But all you need is either, like, a weapon or armor there. And cool. you can totally do that. That's awesome. Isn't that really stupid, too? That is stupid, but at least now you have to never go to that tool again. So. I know. Ooh, oh, Brooke wants, she wants some outdoorsy gear. I like her outfit now, though. Yeah, but this thing has better stats. Yeah. Can you? Oh, you can change the color though. I forgot. Good. Yeah. Well, how much worth the flannel? Oh, the uh. Like aren't they one. all flannel? Like, look how good those colors look on her. Yeah, no, that does look good. Do that one. She's a lumberjack. Sexy lumberjack, bro. <laughs> and shall we do the exploit to get tomorrow some money for her outfit? Yeah. Morning <laughs> vestments. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Another banana. <laughs> All right, so now we can afford the uh, morning vestments. Nice. It's too conservative, if you ask me. That it tomorrow. is. That it is. Actually, that's a good point. Have you decided yet what you're going to do about her outfits and the thumbnails? Because tomorrow's a nude. She doesn't like clothes. I know. I'm just probably going to split it in half. <laughs> <laughs> etchy it up. <laughs> yeah, it needs to be etchy. Tomorrow I mean, that color kind of like... looks good on her. The yeah, lime. No. It does. Those are her colors. It brings out the color in her eyes and her tattoos. Yeah. Well, don't you don't need a banana. Yet. No. So we set off? Yeah, let's do it. Let's actually do another level now. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Oh. Is it Dakota and Brooke? We got an achievement. It just makes me wish the Switch had achievements. I know, right? Why doesn't the Switch have achievements? Who knows? Hmm. Well... Look who it is. Oh, who said that? Oh, <laughs> oh my God, is, look at Boris. It is me, you simpleton. You just keep turning up like a bad penny. Hey, don't bring pennies into this. <laughs> <laughs> I will bring pennies wherever I want, moi. <laughs> Prepare to taste defeat. Prepare to taste the pennies. Oof. Pennies don't taste as bad as they smell. 
Did you ever notice that Penny smelled pretty bad? I like the way pennies <laughs> smell. What did they ever do to you? Well, fine. You can have my pennies, then. Let's dance. <laughs> He's so terrifying. Um... Wait. Hold it right there. Who said that? Who dares? Hmm... <laughs> So you're this Dark Lord I've been hearing so much about. <laughs> you won't be getting your way for much longer. Not if I have anything to say about it. It is I, Gregory Todd Farshti, the Arbiter of Truth and Canon. <laughs> wow, Mr. Farshti, you're amazing. <laughs> Didn't anyone tell you that nobody likes a party pooper? Except for pooper, of course. I might just let you live this time. I gotta say it like a robot. Of course. Bye for now, mwahaha. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Greg's a hero. And breathe. How do you do? Oh, I'm Dandy. Th they call me Greg Farshti. <laughs> I'm a traveling mage. <laughs> I'm Dakota. <laughs> nice to meet you. Oh, well, uh, yeah, I'm all my adventures. Oh, my <laughs> there were faces and... <laughs> so you're on a quest to defeat the Dark Lord. Yeah, but... But you feel you're not quite strong enough. Yeah. Let me tell you a story about a very strong hero. Oh. His name is Kopaka. <laughs> Kopaka. I sense a strange power within you, though. You might not think it's much at the moment. But continue your journey, and you'll grow and grow Will like I... a Toa. Oh, do you think I'll be a Toa one day, Mr. So Greg? just hang in there. Got it. If fortune is on our side, we'll meet again. Whatever destiny feels like. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about that in a sec. I gotta sign the castle guard. Oh, I guess that's the end of that. Oh, all right. <laughs> So at this point in the game, our path actually branched off three ways. At the end of each path will be a boss fight, and each boss fight will return one of the faces back to the town of Greenhorn. However, we can get a brief preview of the next area here. Oh, cool. God, beautiful. <laughs> so this is Zach, uh, one of my good friends in real life. Um, I just adore his me. His me face is so good. It's so beautiful. I'll do my best impression of Zach's voice. All right. You are approaching Greenhorn Castle. That's horrible. Zach, I'm so sorry. You need to ask him for to dub in his lines. <laughs> I would, I would, but this is too last minute. I'm sorry, but I cannot let unauthorized personnel into the castle. Aww. He says stuff all like matter of fact. Yeah. But also sometimes he sounds like he's holding back a laugh. <laughs> I'm afraid I'll have to ask you to turn back. But, but, but. <laughs> That's it, she has leaves. Okay. <laughs> Not another word. <laughs> He's Damn. a serious soldier. Don't fuck with him. He's buff. Yeah, he's pretty buff. All right, so what do you say we go... Go towards the treasure chest. Toward the treasure chest? Yeah. All right, that's actually not towards the face, but... Oh, oops. <laughs> Who cares? Why not? The blue wants to go to the treasure. I don't blame her. So, why don't we talk a little about why Greg Farshi, the author of Bionicle, is the great sage. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, they found something. Oh, I wonder who that great sage Greg is. Well, we're about to explain, Dakota. Yeah. How cool was he? You won't be getting- oh wait, this is her <laughs> imitating Greg. You won't be getting your way for much longer. <laughs> Not if I have anything to say about it. Right? Dark Lord Boris couldn't even dish up a good comeback. It's because it's Greg. I mean, you're powerless against him. I know, right? So cool. So dreamy. <laughs> So, Greg Farshi was the guy who wrote most of Bionicle's, uh, like, text work. He right. did the, every comic, he did most of the novels, and he, I think, aided with the production of the films. All right, so we're going to the treasure chest, you said? Yeah. Go to the treasure. Too want... Who cares about our quest? I want the treasure. Um, he was a very big figure in the fandom, too, though. He actually had accounts on different fan sites and would relentlessly answer fans' questions, possibly to a fault. Yeah, they but have, that's awesome. They have these massive topics on like this big forum called BZ Power. And uh, on it, there'd be dozens of people posting a day, a list of like 20 questions each that they asked Greg and he answered. He would do this every day. He's a trooper. Day in and out. I give him props for that. It's like all these annoying kids asking him all this dumb shit all the time. Yeah, right? Like how annoying must that have been? I know. 
But also, he was well known in the fandom for canonizing things. Ooh, Brooke has a new skull here. Oh, nice, I wanna see. Booby trap. Oh, the booby trap. I'll get trapped in her boobs. <laughs> she is quite a waifu. <laughs> All right, uh, let's just, I think this battle's mindless enough. Yeah. So, fans would sometimes come to Greg with suggestions he would canonize it. Similarly, sometimes Greg would say, no, that's not happening at all. That's completely not canon. Like, so that's how the trap works. He's someone coming to attack Brooke. She got hit. Okay, cool, cool. That's why we said he's the arbiter of canon and truth here. Now you might be wondering why are we kind of making fun of his voice there? <laughs> well. <laughs> There's a story behind that. Yeah. So about, was it like a year ago? Right. I think it was, yeah. Katie and I were cleaning up all the bionicle sets in my room, putting them into storage. At the time, COVID hadn't hit yet, and we were planning to move soon. Mm -hmm. While we're packing them up, Katie said she wants to listen to something because it was kind of quiet in the room. Yeah, I was like, let's put on some tunes or something. And I had a great idea. I'm like, wait, I know just what we should listen to. <laughs> and I'll play it right here for you. Dark Mirror, Chapter 1. Plunging through the void between dimensions, Takanuva, Toa of Light, could hardly believe what had happened to him in the last day. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's Greg. in addition to writing all the stories and such, Greg Farshi also... Uh, I'll continue the story after we, we feed them and shit. All right. <laughs> I'm not going to be all fo focused on this. Who gets the con candy? That's fine. Oh, give it to D Dakota. The blue gets it. Yeah, she likes that. She found it delicious. Good. Tamara does not oh. want the ham. She's like, please don't give that to me again. <laughs> no goblin, no ham. <laughs> no goblin, never ham. <laughs> what about the jelly? Did you like jelly tomorrow? Like enough? Yeah. Take and go some more MP. Yeah. All right, Brooke, I guess ham's on the house for you. She likes the ham. Let's hope. <laughs> oh, wow. She likes that a lot. Yeah, right. It's nutritious. Nutritious and delicious. <laughs> That was my best uh, condescending Brooke voice. My throat is really sore today, and this game is, like, not good for that because all the voices. Oh, no. Nutritious and delicious. Hmm. Let me see if we can uh, grind our way up to oh, Dakota yeah, Megaphone. Yeah. Oh, we can also win it, but, like, we don't oh. have the best of luck winning that. We'll see. We can get some big XP, though. Might as well shoot for it. Yeah. Anyway, let's continue our Greg story. Right. So, in addition to writing all the stories for Bionicle, Greg also wrote uh, online dedicated serials. He had three serials he had to do at a time, balance them, and switch them out every six months or so. One would always be a blog or journal. One would always be, like, a traditional story. And then one would always be a podcast that Greg read aloud to you. <laughs> and, oh my god, these are... So first of all, these stories are kind of all over the place in quality. Some are cool, some are honestly horrible. Uh, I, I <laughs> as, is, as is typical for Bionicle writing. But what made that so amusing to me is just like, you just get the impression listening to Greg here. That is the absolute last thing he wants I to be know. doing. <laughs> He sounds so dead inside. Like, he's just like, oh my god, do I really have to read this Lego? <laughs> my favorite thing is that Lego made him call them Biocast. Yes, yes. He's like, tune in to the next Biocast to find out more. <laughs> and you can just tell, like, he, he wants nothing to do with this. I know. He's so ashamed, it sounds like. And then I love how the comments in these videos are stuff like, that lip smacking, though. <laughs> or like, my god, who wants to listen to this guy drone on? <laughs> That's one of the comments. That's so rude. <laughs> it was just like, it cracked me up like that. I know. Oh, Tamara leveled up. Yay. Nice. I'll do one more roll, see if we can get the megaphone for the blue. All right. One of my favorite things is like, one of the comments, like, I can't get over the way Greg pronounces Vakama's name. And you listen, he's like, Draga Vakama. It's like, Vakama. Oh my God, Vakama. You, you, you don't know how <laughs> no, to say his name. My favorite one is someone time stamped a thought and said, Greg is the author of Bionicle, so I find it amusing that he manages to mispronounce Lewa's name twice. <laughs> and you go to that timestamp, he says, Lee Lua. It's like neither was right. <laughs> he starts saying it wrong, so he cuts himself off and then says it wrong again. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like, what I find amusing about this, like, that's just, like, that just tells you how much he didn't want to be doing this at this know. time. Like, this is the last thing he cared about. It's like he didn't even edit out that mistake. <laughs> <laughs> no. So, like... Just between that and just, like, the droning, depressive voice, Katie and I, while spending, like I said, like, eight hours straight just taking apart Bionicle sets, we started being really goofy and memeing with each other. So out of nowhere, I'm just, we're just quiet, and all of a sudden, Katie goes, Dark Mirror. Chapter four. Because <laughs> Dark Mirror was one of the online serials. <laughs> and then we just started going, like, Dark Mirror. Chapter 57. Tell it to yet in Talkanova. Oh, a megaphone. 
Oh, nice. They're like, tell it to Yen and Takanova are walking through the dick forest. <laughs> dick forest. <laughs> and just started like making up random bullshit as he went along. <laughs> So that is where the Greg voice comes from. Um, I just want to make it clear. I have nothing against Greg. He's a... I have mad props for a guy. First oh, off, yeah. for how much he fucking wrote. That's impressive. I know, right? That, like, he wrote all those goddamn stories more or less himself. Yeah. And second, for putting up with so many goddamn obnoxious kids for so long. Oh, yeah, I know. You can tell sometimes that he just, like, he was so done with yeah, them. Some of the questions he answered in BZ Power, you can just tell from his responses, like, he's just like, oh, my God. <laughs> Why am I doing this to myself? <laughs> that one kid that asked how do Bionicles go to the bathroom, and he was like, how do you go to the bathroom? <laughs> it's just like, those are the kinds of responses he gave. <laughs> I think my other favorite thing is like, recently fans have been doing more contests to build like depictions of characters, and they send the pictures to Greg to canonize at the end of the contest. And Greg's response to the one, we're like, all right, here's here's like the contest winner. Do you approve of this? And his response is just, yes. <laughs> one word, nothing else. It's like, you can just tell he just doesn't want to have any part in Bionicle oh. anymore. <laughs> But, like, I like him a lot. He's a really fun guy. Mm -hmm. I'd love to have him on Tomodachi Life. I would love to have him on Tomodachi Life, too. We'd put a me of him in there just for that. Oh, yeah, definitely. But, like, like I said, uh, much, much like what we did Joe White, I don't mean anything mean by this. We are just having fun. Please don't. If, if Greg Farshi ever sees us, please don't be hurt by any of this, dude. I have crazy respect for the shit you do. Oh, yeah, definitely. Me, too. No one else could do what you do, man. <laughs> All right, so I guess that's the treasure chest. we go the other way? Yeah. And uh, that is why we decided to make Greg the, make the great sage. He is the one who determines the truth and the canon of this world. If Boris wants to hurt him, Greg can just decanonize Boris, and just like that, yeah. Boris would fade out of existence. <laughs> Boris no longer exists. The, the fandom of Bionicle is such a weird relationship with Greg. There's stuff like, they have memes like this. Like, to say, like, local man ruins everything. <laughs> Picture. Because Greg is known for, like, canonizing shit that, like, fans hated all yeah. the time. People are like, God, Greg, that's so stupid. Saying that love isn't canon. I think one of my favorite things is, like, if you look at, like, old BZ Fire posts, it's fans saying stuff like, this was a bad idea, Greg. Or, like, Greg, what were you thinking? <laughs> they're just so, it's like, here the guy is taking time out of his day to be on this fan site, and they're so ungrateful. I know, that's the worst <laughs> they're part. They're so mean to him. <laughs> and then, oh. like... Oh, my God. Maybe that's why Greg said Bionicle was a mistake. <laughs> I'll put that picture on screen. That's too. a legit quote from him. Everything's a legit quote from Greg. <laughs> well, bam. Oh, my God. I want Greg to come back. I, w I would love Greg to come back. I want yeah. Greg to voice act his character in this. Same. What so I figured of, of someone all-knowing, because it literally says, like, the Great Sage is all-knowing. Like, Greg knows everything about Bionicle yeah. there. That Knowing everything about Bionicle is basically like knowing everything about the rest of the world. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. basically the same. <laughs> yeah, basically. So that is why Greg Farshi is a great sage. Also, the reason his name is Greg F. Question mark is that was his username on BZ Power. Right, right. Because he answered questions and he didn't know what he was doing with his <laughs> life. <laughs> but when you're a great sage, can you ever be too sure? Ah, what great weather for an adventure. Great weather for adventuring indeed. Yeah, what should we do? Let's go home. She's done. <laughs> yeah, wait, let, wait, what? <laughs> Brooke is done for the day. She's like, it's kind of sticky and humid out. My hair is poofing. <laughs> la dee da dee da It's like Pennsylvania up in here. I know. Oh my gosh. Oh, I thought we were actually done that. Oh. Surprise. Oh god, more of these gross goblin gappers. I know. They look all gooey. Yeah, <laughs> they look disgusting, don't they? <laughs> no. It's like, I just want to, like, grab their head and mush it onto the wall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just like smearing goblin guts everywhere. Yeah, just like see the green goo go. Can everywhere. we have can we have an M rated Metopia? I understand this game got the uh, Russian equivalent of M in uh, Russia because of same sex couples. Oh, uh, that requires an M for them. Apparently, jeez. <laughs> Russia's not a not the best nation in the world right now. Mm. <sighs> but like, I want like M rated Metopia. Just fucking you <laughs> smack the goblin and just their guts go spill on everywhere. I know. Um, I want to see Tamaru like whack them and just see blood spray everywhere. I feel like there is supposed to be a strategy in this combat, but it's so easy. Yeah. Why can't you play the other characters? I don't know. <sighs> That's why I said earlier, like a multiplayer mode would be so cool for this game, I feel like. I know. I, I want to play as like sexy ninja Brook. <laughs> sexy ninja Brook. Yeah, sexy ninja Brooke with her sexy ninja outfit. She's gonna like swoop right in and steal your heart away all ninja style in the shadows. Oh yeah. <sighs> what do you gonna do with her like outfit on the thumbnail? Are you gonna keep it as is or like? I feel like I need to etchy it up a little bit. Etchy it up a little bit? Yeah, make it look a little more Brooke and fashionable. <laughs> oh, that that's why you got etchy, not just because you're an etchy artist. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. <laughs> well, I mean like, you just gotta make it fit in the theme, you know? 
Yeah, totally. And there we go, just like that. Found it in. Oh, who's there? Looks like there's a new party member looking for adventure. Oh, great! Hello? I am here? It is I, Kato Clarfegnacarip. <laughs> My last name is a mouthful. I'm a mage. <laughs> Woo, I finally made it. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. <laughs> oh, that's okay, Kato. You're always welcome. I'm Kato. I'm a mage. I always do my best. <laughs> oh, I'm no. very angry about that. <laughs> we know you do, Kato. <laughs> oh, man. So Kato is the fourth party member. I love Kato. I think she's perfect for this role. Kato joined our party. Hooray! Welcome to team. <laughs> Good tree speak. <laughs> I'm sure we'll all get along just great. Yeah, that is After okay. all, I am Kato. That is, if you don't start picking fights with everyone, Kato. I know she will. And with that, we now have a four-person party. The goal of our journey is of utmost importance. To save all of Metopia. We won't let it fall to that dastardly dark lord. Brooke! Brooke, don't fall asleep. It'll be an arduous journey. That much is certain. So it's a good thing for the four of us to have the resolve... Um... Hey, Dakota. Are you done blabbing yet? We're starving? <laughs> oh, they're hungry. <laughs> oh. I haven't eaten in three weeks. I wanted to give a speech. Here's to our heroic travels. Oh, God. Where would we put Kato? I, I don't think Brooke wants Kato to room with her. No. Let's just put Kato... Give Kato her own room to yeah, sprawl out in. Just for the time being. Yeah. <laughs> But Kato just showed up and she already wants. No, you gotta fight with her default weapon first. Yeah, right? Gotta show it off. Oh my god. So she literally just showed up. She's like, I hate my staff. <laughs> it sucks. This is trash. <laughs> we just gotta give it to her in lime, right? Yeah, the lime fits her the best. Oh, it's so flowy. <laughs> So, uh, like with a lot of other characters, for those of you who don't know, Kato, character from Tomodachi Life, it's a long story. Probably just easier to watch Tomodachi Life. Yeah, probably. Eat grub, they just ate. I'm hungry? I haven't had any goblin ham yet. <laughs> it was delicious. Pretty good for you, I hope. <laughs> All right, let's set off on adventure. Woohoo! <laughs> Be skip Yahoo! Woo Island? That's a place where you can get in good shape? <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, but as Kato's outfit probably gonna stick closest to this one when you draw on thumbnails. Yeah, probably. I don't feel comfortable putting Kato in an etchy outfit. The three of you all have exposed navels? <laughs> <laughs> That's trashy. You don't even have lady abs? <laughs> Brooke well, does. Brooke does, maybe? Oh. Oh, the face! Oh, it's Marth! Sakes alive! This is nothing compared to what Sakurai did to me! <laughs> oh no! We have found the first of the missing faces. It's oh, and we get this bot back. Oh, I love this music. Oh yeah, this song's time. Did it just roll through the mountain? It just fucking rolled through the mountain, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. Well, luckily, so Brooke's way too cool to deal with this shit. She's so cute. That's the spot. Oh no. <laughs> Kato, you're a mage. You go up and whack it. <laughs> That's how she does it. <laughs> She that does is, things her way. That is exactly how Kato would use a staff. Let's let's let Kato go again. I want to show us her magic. Yeah. So of these classes, the mage is absolutely broken. No, oh, jeez. Really? It is stupidly overpowered. She can, after not even leveling up too much, she can one shot like an entire wave of enemies. Oh my god. Jeez. Yeah. When I say stupidly broken, I mean it is stupidly broken. Kato is OP. Oof. Tomorrow, use your healing. Yeah. Right. I'll cure. It's not really sick. Wow. It, I mean, it worked. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, jungle woman. <laughs> I just love this assortment party. I, know. I feel like people assumed after Brooke was like the first character there that like it was all gonna be like your OCs. Right, no. No, here's Tamaru from Bionicle and Kato. <laughs> just fucking Kato. <laughs> I know. Oh, damn it, they didn't like her song. Aw. This Marth reminds me of when Mario was a rock. <laughs> rock Mario? <laughs> yeah. Oh, look. Brooke is too cool <gasps> to get hit. Ooh, too slow. Ooh. Mm. 
Oh, she's so cute. Oh, she's such a waifu. This is why Brooke is my number two waifu. She has got a critical hit there, did you see? Yeah. I'm back! <laughs> Let me see if I can uh, distract the rock now with this song. Oh, yeah. Come on, Marth! Listen. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's terrible. It's like, this music is so much better. That was a disgusting song, you woman. <laughs> Your voice is shrill and pitchy. Come on, Tamaru, heal us. I know. She looked so sad when she chomped that Nana. <laughs> it was the saddest Nana chomping in the world. <laughs> oh, Tamaru heals herself and acts happy. <laughs> First energetic quirk. Oh, cool. Go, go, go! Come on, Dakota! Uh. Pick it up, you slacker! <laughs> I gave her some MP back. Show right. me some push ups! Um, let me see. I can probably use the sprinkles. Yeah. There we go. Oh, and nice. You know what? While we're here, why not? Just give them all a little sprinkles. Oh, all out. Oh, none for you, Kato. You're good. Let's give the rest of tomorrow because she needs them to heal. Yeah. She's like literally useless without them. It's like the only thing she's good at. She's like, Wait, can heal. What bam? Oh, nice. Not gonna bother trying to sing him anything else. He doesn't seem to care. Jeez. Oh! Oh, Kato's angry. Hang on. I oh. refuse to die. I'm not giving up. So she had no health left, but she got up. Oh, wow. oh I like that. Oh, good. She didn't heal herself again. <laughs> That's okay, we're good. Yeah? Oh, come on, Marth, remember who you are. <laughs> You're a sexy man, not yeah, a Yeah, but rock. he still hates them. Yeah, true. It's Marth, remember? All <laughs> They're right. all women, so he hates them all. Um, I'm gonna let Tamara go again, because I think she has to heal herself here. Yeah. And now is an appropriate time to heal yourself. Oh, alive. <laughs> I'm alive. Oh, does she not have enough MP? I help. Oh, oh wait. <gasps> she. Oh, tomorrow did the winning blow. Good for her. Rescued by women. Oh, how, how embarrassing. I'll never live this down. <laughs> oh, good old Marth with the sexism. Oh, was worried a moment. Worried bad. Worried bad. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible tree speak. Oh, nice. Tomorrow's like now the highest. Learn calm. She can calm people down. Oh, our calm. <laughs> Calmness. <laughs> and Kato learned fire. That one's pretty busted. I'm gonna burn everyone? Uh, why don't we give this to Kato just to bring on the same level as everyone else? Yeah. Ooh. Tamaru's so sad. It's because she almost died. Oh, she's a little ashamed of herself, I guess. Oh, there she goes. Back oh, up that's again. that's it. Tamaru, <laughs> back, back on her feet. Tamaru's low-key bipolar. She kind of is, though. She's. I know. She's, like, really happy, and then all of a sudden she's really sad. Remember she's all, like, depressed because, like, she exiled herself from a party? Yeah. And then she's all excited when she invites herself to join your group? <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Hey. Hi. Hello. It's me. I wrote a letter. Let me know if you don't get it. Our nosy neighbor. <laughs> Thanks, nosy neighbor. <laughs> Thank you for your wonderful, wonderful note. I love him. Oh, look at them. Getting to know each other, two chatterboxes. I mean, these two would be besties, I feel like. Yeah, totally. All right, now I feel like someone needs to know Kato. Yeah. Dakota. I'm watching sleep. <laughs> Gotta pay <laughs> attention to it. It makes me feel peaceful. Oh, look, she wants to meet Kato. Oh, I'll go meet Kato then. It's literally what next... we were about to do. Yeah. And then let's put these two together. Yeah, let them chit chat. Yeah. I don't feel like either one of them would appreciate Kato. Yeah. But the blue I could. The blue could, I think. Yeah, I think so. She's got a lot of patience. Ooh, time for a new look. Huh? Doesn't <laughs> this look fine? I'll be back in a sec. Ta-da! Oh my gosh, look at her! I'm Sephiroth! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it's Ooh. my Sephiroth cosplay! You look like a new person? <laughs> you have that Tomorrow Girl's hair color now? <laughs> it's not even the same color. <laughs> it's similar. All right, who gets to eat? Who gets to... Well, I think since Tamaru did the final blow. Yeah, she gets to eat first. She gets to eat the chocolate rock that she got. Oh, those remind me of those chocolate, like, ball things that are in the gold wrappers. You know what I'm talking about? Do, oh, do you mean, like, the, the walnut, hazelnut yeah, ones? Yeah, yeah, those. Yes, I know those. That's what it looked like. All right, who gets cotton candy? Mmm... Kato. I was gonna say, either Kato because she's new, or Tamaru because she did the final blow. Hmm. And look how happy she is. Oh, give it to Tamaru. It's she like, she so almost cute. died in that fight. That's true. That's true. She's a trooper. She deserves some grub then. Kato's like, I'm hungry. Where's my cotton candy, bitch? 
<laughs> I demand some food. <laughs> uh, mm, I think we're good. Yeah. Actually, yeah, no, no, we're good. Never you mind. Oh. Because we have an adventure set off on. Yeah, let's go. Did you see that flip Brooke did? Yeah, Brooke is getting really extra. <laughs> yeah, know, right? Oh, oh man. Martha's back. Can we visit him later? We can. We can indeed. But first, there's a few more faces we need to restore. So where do you want to yeah. go? Forest or cave? Um, feeling the forest. Reminds tomorrow of home. Yeah, yeah. All tree remind of home. Sing song Lake Oro. Strange Grove. It's a really pretty forest, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's a little foggy, though. Brooke's gonna complain about her hair. <laughs> yeah, right. It's all sticky. Full, Full of, of bugs! bugs. <laughs> and that happy puppy, Kato's like, Puppy? Did you say puppy? Where can I smash it? <laughs> Tamara, you used to be an all sweaty. <laughs> Tamara, you live in the jungle. <laughs> Tamara's like, I gotta take clothes off. Oh, that's true, that's true. She's not used to wearing this many clothes. <laughs> Is that the puppy? Should I investigate it? Yeah, do it. A monkey! <gasps> Monk! Where? Oh, oh. I don't get to see a monkey. They didn't Aww. have the budget to animate that. Darn. Dude, are you just gonna take the monkey's happy and banana? <laughs> Ew! <laughs> that's <laughs> disgusting. That's so unsanitary to believe. Right, we gotta run, we gotta work this off. Yeah. Something smells good! Was that that banana? Ah, uh, which way, up or down? Down. Down tree. <laughs> Up tree battle, down tree peace. <laughs> Kato's feeling great. Doing good? Feeling great? <laughs> Ooh, Treasure! Nice. Oh, nice. And monies. We monies. can use that. Yeah. Perfect. Just what I needed. Just what I needed. Oh, the pretty sunset. Yeah. Is anything going to happen on this journey? Oh, there no, we go. <laughs> I was very, about to say. <laughs> very anti There is journey. so much downtime in this game. <gasps> Mushrooms! Mushroom! It's <laughs> my favorite Lord of the Rings line. I know. <laughs> From the fucking, two most useless characters. Yeah, fucking peregrine toque. He's a fool of a toque. Mushroom! <laughs> Bam. It was creepy. <laughs> you say about all the enemies. I know. He's because they're creepy looking. Well, bam. Oh, I see, I see his mouth. Ew, he has a mouth? <laughs> yeah, it's under his hair. Oh, gross. Yeah, his, his mushroom hair. His mushroom hair? Yeah. Not, not the top of his head, it's his hair. <laughs> yeah, it's his hair. Oh, he had a mouth when he, like, zoomed up. <laughs> yeah, right. He had a really long face, like the Sensei Josh me. <laughs> well, I'll feel that in the morning. Uh, I need Ooh. a massage. Nice, Dakota Yay. leveled up. And so did Brooke. Oh, nice. That's why she's best girl. <laughs> All right, that's the end of this journey. I'm ready to conk out. I'm ready to conk some heads. <laughs> I'm gonna clonk some of those enemies' heads together. Like those mushrooms? Oh, another path split? Gonna clonk the monkeys. All right, which way? Should we go up this um, time? Yeah, go up. All right. This is so pretty. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> I will burn this forest to the ground. With my new fire spell? Oh, another treasure chest. <laughs> Your treasure chest looking a bit light there, boyo. Oh no, get that Joe White out of you here. You think it got bilge water on the brains? <laughs> Ahoy there, Tamaru, uh, Dakota, and Kato, and Brooke. It is I, Joe White Crabs. Joe White's grabbing booties. <laughs> oh no. I'm starving. Me too. I'm num num. <laughs> I hope you brought some to share, Brooke. Oh no, I'm just pretending to eat. I don't, is this too many carbs? <laughs> I'm trying to trick my stomach into feeling full. That's I've done how this I for stay, years. That's how I stay so slim. <laughs> I hope she'll last until we can get some grub at the next inn. So I guess kind of another criticism I have this game is the me personalities feel very interchangeable. Yeah, I've noticed. This isn't like Tomodachi, like, where every character feels, like, unique or whatever. Mm -hmm. And, like, they all manage to be incredibly in character. The characters in this game more or less could just be saying any of the sentences that any of the other characters say. Yeah, I feel like every single character in this game is kind of just a giant derp. <laughs> yeah, and I feel like I would have enjoyed that writing a lot more when I was younger. Yeah, same. This game has some good quirk to it, but like at the same time, it's like, I don't know. I <sighs> The humor is very hit or miss for me, I find. Yeah. Shall we spend some gold here? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, who gets it? Who gets it? Uh, no, I think Kato, because she's been asking for the broom for a while. Yeah. Where's my broom? I demand a broom. 
She's probably going to whack people with it. Yes, I am. How did you know? Because <laughs> I know you, Kato. I will use it to keep the dogs out of the party. <laughs> and the monkeys. I'm sure we don't have enough money to give. Yeah. Oh, that's such a cool dagger. That's I a know. shame. Um, only one food. That's right. Jeez. Oh, Who gets the mushroom? Oh, <laughs> give it to, give it to Brooke. No longer, she, she no longer needs to trick her stomach into feeling full. Yeah, but she doesn't want it. She's like so conscious about her figure. Yeah, but don't worry, it's just a vegetable. It's okay. <laughs> it's just a vet. No, Katie, it's a fungus. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that is most certainly not a vegetable. Yeah, that's true. Katie, you need to go back to school. I'm sorry. You but should I'm, be. I'm so dumb. All right, so we will meet you up ahead for the split in the road to see what's different on the other path. See y'all there. See ya. All right, so here we are at the first fork in the road. This time we're going to take the upper path. Right. Up to the treetops. Oh, Tamara doesn't want to go up there. <laughs> no tree. <laughs> no tree. Want ground path. Fall down. Ground path. <laughs> Look at her skipping on ahead. I know. But at the, yeah, at the same time, she wants to pretend that she knows what she's doing. Well, the this, is her, this is her homeland. Yeah, it's her turf. Smack this goblin in the face. <laughs> no goblin. Not in home. She's like, oh, where Kongu when you need him? <laughs> the blue just got mushroomed. I know. She just got bopped by a shroom. <laughs> Stupid mushroom. Yeah, I know. These things are so so dumb looking, aren't they? Yeah, they look like they have an IQ of like two. <laughs> I just want to like bounce in their heads. Uh <laughs> <laughs> like, am I crazy or do you feel like that would be really bouncy? No, they do. They look like a little trampoline. Like a toad. <laughs> Why aren't the mushrooms in this game just toad? Don't bounce on my head! <laughs> you, know. <laughs> you know, excuse you. <laughs> Oh, all right, I guess we're cutting back here. Oh. <laughs> the mushroom made a funny face and Tamara fell over laughing. <laughs> so this unlocks the safe spot. Um, oh, oh, is it me acting strangely? It can take some time to get back to normal. If you want to speed up the process, use the safe spot. And you'll even get a small boost to HP and MP for free. And you can use the safe spot during any character's turn. But, while someone's in the safe spot, you'll be one team member short. And make sure you consider that, ho oh, oh. ho. So I guess we'll put Tamara there, because she's like, <laughs> Mushroom! <laughs> Mushroom funny! <laughs> I honestly never use the safe spot, like, literally ever. Mm. I just, like, don't- this game's too easy as is. You don't need something to make it even easier. Like, remove yeah. the party member with, like, the status inflicted on them. Yeah, no, I get that. Also, that mushroom's face looked like a fucking pedo. <laughs> no pedophiles in my watch! <laughs> I will stop them! No pedophile mushrooms? So, I was intending to zoom back to the next, uh the next crossroads point, but then, yeah, that, that happened in the middle of the battle that right. I was going to skip. Yeah. So I guess now we'll go down tree. Back to the swamp. The swamp? This is where Tamara is more comfortable. Hey, this is my swamp! <laughs> no, it's my swamp. Tamara and Shrek have a fight over it. <laughs> so Shrek would win, though. Tamara's useless. Oh, yeah. I'm sure. Tamara would just, like, trip and fall. <laughs> that would be the end of the fight. Uh huh. Hwah. <laughs> Those mushrooms, they act like they don't know what hit them. I know, like I said. Did you no see just idea. Kato obliterate that guy? Damn, Kato is overpowered. Yeah, like, just start paying attention to how quickly enemies go down when Kato hits them. Mm. It's like instantaneous, they just die. Tomorrow got one. <laughs> Good. Yippee! Bob was like, oh, you will regret that. No, you didn't. Stupid mushroom. <laughs> Slice you at the stem. Cut his stupid head off. <laughs> Cut his stupid head off. <laughs> for such an innocent game, this has very high body count. I know, right? We literally had the mushroom there. We killed it. <laughs> it's for dinner. Yeah, they're gonna eat it tonight. Kato, yeah, Kato could use some new clothes. I like the witch outfit. I want to wear an itchy outfit too. <laughs> I want my tummy exposed. It's not fair. <laughs> That's the one thing we all have in common. <laughs> oh, nice. Ten different foods. Back to what I was saying before, I wish the Switch had an achievement system. I know, right? Like, I don't... If people don't like achievements, just turn them off like you can on PlayStation and Xbox. Yeah, that's... Like, there's, no, there's literally no downside. Yeah, and if it... Like, they could keep track of it, and if one day you decide you want them, then they'd be there for you. I think Brooke has the mushroom where she cut it down. Yeah. I personally really like, like, the trophies and stuff, specifically because I like using them to, like, go back and be like, oh, that's when I played the game. They're all, like, time-stamped. Yeah, totally. It's like, oh, I played this game in 2014. Uh, should Kato or Tamara get this mushroom? Uh, give it to Kato. She wants to eat healthy. Mushrooms are good for you? Even though they're nasty? Oh, but now Tamara has to get the ham. <laughs> oh, oops. Sorry, Tamaru. You know, you need to eat something. 
We should have thought that through a little better. <laughs> All right. Ready to find another face? Oh, I'm so ready. Saddle up. Tamaru doesn't want to leave the jungle yet, like Mowgli. <laughs> <laughs> I want to stay in the jungle. I don't want to go to the Literally man village. Literally fucking half, half of the conversations in the jungle book go, all right, Mowgli, time to go to the man village. <laughs> but I don't want to go to the man village. Mowgli, you almost got fucking killed last night. <laughs> yeah, and he runs off. And then he gets captured by someone else. Yeah, then, then the monkeys kidnap him. Yeah. And they're like, see, this is why you got to go back to the man village. Like, yeah, I get it. I don't want to go there. Mowgli's a little shithead. Oh, I know. I love him, but... <laughs> And mouse, and mouse does not compute. And mouse, <laughs> mouse is not human. Uh, uh, mouse, error. error. <laughs> Don't worry, Figus Fittus, I'll save you. I I love that like the face just like slapped on everything. It looks so horrible. I know. See tomorrow. Oh, she tripped on it. It's perfect. Literally perfectly in character for that goddamn klutz. Isn't that literally an attack from Manog? She like trips or something? And That's her dodge. Her dodge oh. animation, she trips. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, I know. All right, let's oh, see her. The 10 damage from Kato. Oh, that mouse got to go twice. That's not fair. <laughs> Brooke got out of the way of the other two. <laughs> Ew, it's such they a- They always target her. God, because <laughs> they know that she finds them funny. <laughs> Mushroom. <laughs> Let's see. Um, I Make am a... gonna give. Yeah, you could make Kato attack again, couldn't you? Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do. Where's it? Yeah, sprinkles. Mm. I'm, like try... I'm, I'm used to the 3DS interface for this game. Gotcha. Just cause like, there we go. I don't want tomorrow to die while she's laughing. No. I'm determined to not use a safe spot unless I have to. It's a I bad mouthed it. <laughs> yeah. Um, you want me to make Kato go again? Yeah, make Kato go again cause All she's right. powerful. Kato, just don't fucking target the, the mushroom because it's almost dead anyway. Yeah, right. Get Figus Fittus. <laughs> Go for the mouse. <laughs> Go for the earthworm. God oh, damn it, Kato. God. Ugh. She's not oh. very bright, is okay, she? Okay, well, now it's her actual turn. Mouse on fire. Mouse on fire. <laughs> ah. Have puffy tail. Do not know. Tomorrow's still like, tomorrow, the mushroom's dead. I know. She's still thinking about it, though. Oh, there we go. She's fine. <laughs> You don't really need to heal yourself there. She's like so cautious of that. Yeah, she's making sure, cause she's almost died before. Kato just fucking murdered it. <laughs> Good. And floating face, so cool, help. <laughs> Want to go back to Robot Machine? Uh. <laughs> That's Literally nice. anyone coming to the series who hasn't seen Joe Dash Life has no fucking idea what we're talking I about. Know. I know. <laughs> Figus Fittus is an earthworm piloting a human mech. That's oh. all you need to know. Kato's got lightning. That is the most broken move, I think, that That's, she has. Sounds like it would be. I was gonna give this to Kato just to like bring her on par with everyone else for XP. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. we got a mouse treat. Some cheese. Cheese. Some fromage. Omelette du fromage. <laughs> Do you ever see that episode of Dexter's Lab? I've never seen a single episode of Dexter's You've, Lab. That's right. I always yeah. forget you're like just slightly younger than me and you like yeah. missed half the shit I grew up with. Mm -hmm. There's an episode of Dexter's Lab where he's trying to learn French. So he has like a CD going. And so it's like teaching French overnight. Mm -hmm. And it gets stuck and just keeps repeating omelet du fromage <laughs> over and over. That means omelet with cheese. Yeah. And when he wakes up, that's the only word he can say <laughs> is omelet du fromage. <laughs> All right. So I was going to give this to Kato because she's the one who killed the mouse, but I don't think she'd eat cheese. Yeah. I feel like Kato's lactose intolerant. <laughs> so who gets it's it? It's canon now. Uh, give it to Dakota. She likes cheese. Yeah, the blue gets it. Oh. oh, all right. She doesn't like cheese. Well, there's a mouse tail on top of that cheese. Oh, that's kind of disgusting, yeah, actually. I don't, I don't blame her for not liking that. Slurp it up like a noodle. <laughs> like a sausage. <laughs> hmm. Jolly jaunt tickets. Yeah, but that's a budget one. Oh. Ah, we might as well. Let's see what we get. Well, that guy's like smug ass sunglasses. I know. He's kind of a tool, too. Yeah, but he's better than the rock, paper, scissors. If you give me one fucking banana. <laughs> I swear to God. Oh my god. Should I roll again it's or like, no? Congratulations. Like, shut the fuck up. Should yeah, I roll go, again? go again. Alright. Come on. Not a fucking banana, I swear to god. Alright, got the Jolly John. Jolly John. So, this is a vacation cool. that two me's can take together. Oh, that's awesome. So, who should we give the ticket to? Um, Dakota and Brooke. Dakota and Brooke? Yeah. You only give it to one and they choose who they go with. Oh. Hmm. Oh, I wonder who she'd take then. Give it to Zablut. I hope she takes Brooke. <laughs> She's taking Kato! 
Come on, let's go already? Kato, how dare you destroy my ship. <laughs> Why does that tree have combs on top? Oh yeah, it does. <laughs> That's the budget one, he's a tiny little shack. That's like Crunk Island. Oh my god, it is. Like where Captain Crunk lives. Her tiny little shack. I like how it's just like in the middle of this adventure they go on a vacation. I know, right? Everyone else just waits on at the end, I guess. Where are they? I don't know, they all should have gone on the vacation together. Yeah, they should ideally. have. Ideally. Alright, and... Let's see. Can't oh, afford. Cute. Oh. Can't afford. It's a duck. It's Can't <laughs> afford. All right, guys, you're getting nothing. You're getting jack shit today. <laughs> <laughs> Only one face left to retrieve. Yeah, who's, whose face do we have left? Oh, you'll see. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That's locked deep within the cave. Oh. Shall we go there? Yeah, let's do it. Spooky, scary cave. Ooh, scary, dark cave. <laughs> Do you know what that's a reference to? It's Patrick. That's Battle for Bikini Bot. We're in River Deep Cavern. This place oh. is so pretty. River Deep sounds like a tomorrow word. River Deep. No swim. <laughs> crocs. Our Crocs. Didn't you draw a picture once? Because Tamara's a map maker in Bionicle. Didn't you draw a picture once of her, like, like walking through the jungle, like she dropped her map or something, like, laying on top of a crocodile? <laughs> yeah, the crocodile had it in its teeth, and Tamara's just, like, on the ground, like, if, reaching If I can find that it. picture, I'll put a slap it on screen yeah. there. Yeah, it's probably old, so don't judge me, but... <laughs> Who are these fetish lords? These are the banshees. Oh. They're they're kind of fetish lords, aren't they? So yeah. They also look a little like toddlers. Oh, uh, yeah. Pedo bait. Oh, God. Kato's like, I said no pedos, <laughs> Hadouken. <laughs> so lightning hits fucking everyone. Damn, that is powerful. And the one in the middle goes, oh my God, so is the banshee. Jeez. Uh, all right, let's let's use some sprinkles, shall we? Yeah. Oh, poor Kato. She just got almost one-shotted. She's got the shit beaten out of her. Believe in yourselves. <laughs> All right. Um, let's let Kato go again. Yeah. I bet I can make those things waifus if I age them up. Do it. Fucking do it. <laughs> we probably won't be able to do it in time for this video to go up. No, but, but I will. I will eventually. Because we're trying to get this video up on Bionicle Day, which is very fitting because Greg Farshi the Great Sage. Yes, it's perfect. And tomorrow join the party. Look <laughs> at just like poke at her with its ponytail. It's like Shantae. It fights with her hair. <laughs> Like Shantae or Bayonetta or... Yeah. Uh, I feel like there's someone else I know who fights with their hair. Mm -hmm. I'm drawing a blank, though. Can't think of it. Well, let's just attack. No, Dakota, what are you doing? Oh. She attacked the wrong one. Oh, it's all good. Glute. You know, do you feel like these things would be cute? Like, humanized? Yeah, if you age them up a little from toddlers. Well, yeah, obviously. I feel like you can say that a lot. Oh my god, Kate, it's like every time she gets hit, she's almost down. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Come on, Kato. You can do it. Can do. Yeah, I bet I could. <laughs> oh no. I'm gonna have this banana first. <laughs> there we go, all better. <laughs> she's like Link in Breath of the Wild. She's just like in the middle of a battle, pull out some apples. Oh my like god, my favorite thing is apples. like Link gets knocked over and just shovels like 50 apples down his throat. <laughs> He's like, all right, I'm better. <laughs> <laughs> they did it. Perfect. Tomorrow is glistening. As she should be. Her hair like looks so cute in this light. I know. Oh, I love, I love the like the age difference here. You have Dakota and Brooke are both like 18, 19. Tomorrow is like yeah. 16 to 18. And then like Kato's in like her 30s. She's like 36. Uh, do we go for treasure or? Uh, I want treasure. Uh, you want treasure? Yeah, I always <laughs> want treasure. <laughs> That's all we need in this world. It's probably going to be an HP banana. It's getting blisters. Oh my god. Tamar, tomorrow's like, yawn, always barefoot. <laughs> no, all about that. Used to blisters. What are they doing? Hick? Kato has the hiccups. Hick? <laughs> I feel like Tamara is afraid of her. Yeah, uh, she'd ignore her. <laughs> she just walks, Hick? She just flat out walks away. I mean, would you, would you approach <laughs> Kato? No, I feel like if you scared Kato, she'd punch you by accident. Hick? Just gonna leave her to suffer, I guess. She hicks in the form of a question, too. <laughs> I like to think I'm pulling weight. Tamari weighs the least of anyone here. She's a goddamn twig. That is true. Tamari is like a toothpick with limbs. <laughs> and big boobs. This'll keep me safe. She says that trap. <laughs> oh, I see Tamari showing off her the blue. Aw, cute. Look at that. Like, how ridiculous that is. Jeez, thanks, Kato. All right, let's see. I think we need some more magic. Yeah. Kato is so goddamn strong. She is going to probably be the strongest party member for this. 
That's fitting. Kato probably is like the strongest person here. <laughs> That's true. She's also the largest. Yes. No offense, Kato. God damn, Dakota, your songs aren't good enough. It made her cry. Ah, uh, Tamara doesn't give a shit. No. <laughs> She's like, already cried. <laughs> I'm bipolar. Crying is done. Now time for happy cheer. Show off cheer. Yeah. All right. Oh, let's just smack him. Oh my God. Oh, the blue. I'm so used to playing as the stubborn party member as opposed to like the airheaded one. Oh yeah. It's like throwing off all my strats. <laughs> <laughs> They're so sad. Boo hoo. <laughs> oh, but she got caught by the trap and died. <laughs> oh, the poor thing fell for my trap. <laughs> Aw, oh, she's off her game right now. Oh, Brooke. Don't do this to me. Oh, but see, Tamaru can calm her down. Oh. Aw, oh, Tamaru. Good at that. Ah, better. Oh, better. Hadouken? <laughs> there? It is dead? Dead for sure? What a breeze? Not that there's a breeze in this cave. There is no breeze in here? No it is kind of still. Looks cold in there. It is very chilly. All these other ladies are fools. They're gonna have cold tummies. <laughs> it's just like, oh, my tummy's cold. Oh, another letter. Oh my God. <laughs> I, He's cold too. I'm cold. <laughs> if I had hands, they would be shaking. <laughs> so All these cold. fucking outing tickets. I know, right? Oh, and every time you rescue an increment of 50 people, this guy talks to you. Wait, is he? There we go. Oh, good. Uh -huh. And the people's gratitude has awakened new power within you. And truly, you are a beacon of hope for all of Metopia. All right, you may continue smiting monsters. Oh, and you'll get your next perk once you reach 100 people. Tally-ho! All right, get out of here. Goddamn charm. <laughs> Ooh, some leveling up. Blue and Kato are like best friends. <laughs> that makes me uncomfortable, too. I know. Too. I know, because they, they like always fight in Tomodachi life. Like all the time? <laughs> All right, let's, let's uh, rearrange them. Yeah, well, I guess when world saving is happening, then brings you closer. Got to bond with whoever. Let's try to get, let's try to get Tamaru and Kato to know each other. Yeah. Yeah, Tam so a... Tamaru can scare the hiccups out of her. She needs yeah, to. Next time. <laughs> All right, up to the treasure. Yay. <laughs> to Blue likes the treasure. She loves getting treasure. It's gold like my outfit. It so, feels so magical. I love the way the lighting looks like reflecting off their outfits in this. I know. I am really impressed with like the graphical the quality of like this remake. I hope my capture card is doing this justice. Hopefully. Because I know like my capture card maxes out like 20 megabits per second or whatever. Ah, oh. oh, 280 gold. Ooh, nice. Nice. We're going shopping after Ooh. this. Yeah, we got a lot of money. I know. This place reminds me of the Yoshi's Island cave. I kind of see that. It's like sparkling. Yeah. I was thinking it reminds me of a, uh, like, do you remember the cave music for Twilight Princess? Ah, uh, no, I don't. I'll play a little excerpt of it here. I feel like that song would be really fitting for this cave. Mm. It's like really similar actually to the one in Pets Cats too. Oh, oh, cool. Oh, a linen robe. Oh, cute. For Kato. Cute. Well, maybe not on Kato, but... <laughs> <laughs> I want it in purple? Purple is a color? Purple is my favorite color? Is it even? No, I don't think it is. I think it's red. I feel like Kato's favorite color change every time you talk to her. Yeah. She doesn't seem like the most uh, aware person in the no. world. <laughs> squeak! Squeak, squeak! I want to go to Tamaru's room. <laughs> she, miss, she misses Tamaru. <laughs> Tamaru right. talked to me all night long. <laughs> Tamaru and I didn't get a wink of sleep. Brooke, she goes right to sleep. <laughs> Tomorrow I got you a present. Oh, this is a new OTP. Yeah, it, they're kind of cute together, aren't they? Look what I bought. It's gold like me. <laughs> It'll always remind you of me. <laughs> Every time you look at it. It's a, <laughs> it's a picture of her. <laughs> now you can put it in your locker. Tomorrow he's like, what is locker? <laughs> kind of happy. She doesn't really know what a photograph is. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, Dakota is good artist. Dakota draw life self-portrait. Oh, everyone just wants bananas. I know. Wants, she's like, I hate this outfit. It's itchy. I regret wearing it. <laughs> yes, let me put on this instead. This is more like it. Kato, you literally just got it. Oh my god. Oh, I kind of like with the, 
Not with the blue. I kind of like with the red or the white. The red is kind of an eyesore. I kind of like that for Kato, though. Yeah, that's perfect, actually. I didn't mean like I liked it. I meant like it's a great fit for Kato. For Kato, yeah. I get that. <laughs> Alright, um... I think they're a little hungry. Oh, we yeah. don't have enough food for- I want to wait till there's like enough food that everyone can eat so we don't have yeah. to like starve them. I uh, feel bad when we don't give some of them food. Mmm. Jolly we go joint. Yeah, we can get a fancy one or we can get a royal portion of HP. Mm. Or EXP, I'm sorry. Exp. Exp. <laughs> Exp. It's like a Jontronism. Jolly John. Alright, who should we give this to this time? Mmm. I kind of want to see if Dakota and Tamaru go on a- Vacation yeah, together. it might prioritize if like two people are in the same room together. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. Because I know on my file, at least, they would sometimes just go with whoever they're already closest with, not necessarily who they're rooming with. Oh, okay. Oh, look. Back to Comb Island. No, it's a fancier one. So he's got a hammock. Ooh. Tamara's probably used to sleeping in those. I feel like Tamara sleeps in a hammock in her little hut. Naked, because she's a nudist. Of course. Because she's like... a goddamn nudist. <laughs> Hope that people don't walk by her hut and just, like, <laughs> the linen cloth, like, blows over. Uh, again, if people want context on that, actually, Tomonashi Life would be good context, but even better would be the episode of the Baraka animations where Katie says that. Yeah. So, link in the upper right corner. <laughs> but yes, tomorrow is a nudist. All right, they learn warning together, so they can warn each other of, like, incoming danger. Oh. Should we w roll another one? Yeah, might as well. We're never playing Rock Paper again. Fuck that guy. No, After we, we beat this, we'll do a live stream where we go through every single Rock Paper Scissors. <laughs> every ticket on Rock Paper Scissors. Oh my god. I hate the Rock Paper Scissors guy, though. Oh, some casual threads. Wow. I think it's for tomorrow. Is casual thread. Is is clothed, though. Can Tummy show? Oh, that's so oh, cute. Oh, wait, no. That's for Oh, <gasps> That's adorable. Yeah, that's for Dablute. Yeah. Oh, look how cute Man, that is. Man, that's so cute. Her tummy doesn't show anymore. <laughs> yeah, I know. I kind of like the purple one. Yeah, I do too. She can go back to her favorite color being purple now. She can, but we're probably going to change it back to yellow anyway later. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So let's just leave. You want to do one more? Or yeah. two more because we have two uh, tickets. Yeah, okay. Why not? I'm fine with getting anything except for the MP candy. Yeah. Because, like, we can use another fancy. We can use some EXP. We could use more casual threats. We can sell them. Right. All right, oh, if we got all three portion. of these, I'm just going to leave, because next we're going to MP candy. <laughs> all right, who is behind on EXP? Let's see. Might be Kato, but... Mm, she's, like, uh -oh. not that behind, yeah. but why not? Let's get her ahead. Get her overpowered. Yeah, even more overpowered than she already is. Oh, no new move, damn it. Remember your Claire from Shadows of Valencia? Yes. Okay, so I played Fire Emblem Shadows of Valencia. My Claire unit got, like... Plus to her like luck stat every fucking time. <laughs> By the end of the game, she had like a twenty six percent crit chance or something ridiculous. Yeah, I think it was more like it was like thirty <laughs> percent. One in three moves with her with crit. Yeah, and like people shooting her with arrows because like she's supposed to be weak to them, right? People would shoot her with them, and she'd get like one no damage. damage. Like yeah, one damage was that game to call them no damage, <laughs> and then she just obliterate them. <laughs> Claire insane. was so broken, and she was adorable. Yeah, oh, she was adorable. All right, we'll meet you up ahead at the fork in the road. Let's blue this. <laughs> Let's blue this thing. <laughs> and I was like, I'm sorry, Mac, that was terrible. <laughs> All right, time to go onwards to the path that actually is where we're supposed to go. Nice. Dakota's outfit is so cute. Oh, my God. Brooke, why are you, why are you sniffing her butt? Oh, my God. I, I'm not the only one who saw that, right? <laughs> Brooke's head was coming out of Tato's stomach. I did not like that. So, Dakota, do you have Warcry that you use in battle? On Tropical Island, all have Warcry. <laughs> Tomorrow, Warcry is, ah! Because <laughs> you usually fall out of tree. Do tell. All right, so every character in this game can actually get a unique Warcry. Did we write that down? I actually don't think we did. So despite planning out literally everything for this game, I don't think we listed out all the Warcries. Oh, oops. Even though we planned out, like, half the goddamn thumbnails in advance. Yeah. Oops. oops. But don't worry, I think I know exactly what you should do. Can I choke you? <laughs> As recently revealed in the Scooby-Doo Night of Hunter Fights charity scream, Dakota likes to choke people. Yep. She yeah. has her hidden dark side. <laughs> no, it all comes Can't from... Can't say I approve, <laughs> says tomorrow. <laughs> it all comes from these old pictures that I drew of her. Oh my like, god. Their noses. They're all got noses. Like nosy neighbor. Are you were saying? It, it, oh! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> if I could tell my story. One of these days. 
Um, every time I drew Dakota with like Jimbo in a picture, she always looked like she was choking him if she yeah. was just hugging him or something. But you also do pictures where she was choking, like she was scared. I'll put a yeah. whole bunch of these examples on screen. Yeah, basically. But, like, the, the the when Katie was showing me these pictures, I'm like, my God, does she have a choking fetish or something? <laughs> she looked horny in half of them. Yeah, too. and then Katie's like, I like it. It's canon. It's canon now. <laughs> I'm, I have the power of like Greg. I was gonna say that sounds like a Gregism. <laughs> I like it. It's canon. <laughs> raring to go. Yeah, raring up, ready to go. The blue's just singing. It's a lot know. of battles in this cave. Yeah, geez. A lot more than I was expecting. It's a dangerous cave. Oh, look at all these friends. So, as I wanted to say before, I didn't get a chance to because you were busy telling your story. When there's just, like a bunch of enemy slimes like that, Kato can just literally like one shot them all with lightning bolt. Jeez. Watch this. Look how cool I am, the blue. <laughs> Do you like me now? <laughs> She's all out of her MP though. I gotta give her some more sprinks. Yeah, some sprinks. Yeah, some sprinkadinks. Kato looks like she's holding an umbrella. I will protect you from the rain. <laughs> no water will get on your hair. See that cloud? He's not gonna rain on your parade. <laughs> oh, also, Dakota and Brooke both learned new moves back yeah. uh, off screen when we zoomed ahead. Dakota learned out of tune. I want to see what this is. This is beautiful. <laughs> it does damage to everyone, including your team. Oh my god. <laughs> That's amazing. Piece of cake. Pizza cake. Like Falco. I could use a pizza cake. A pizza cake. <laughs> Sleep tight? <laughs> she can make her friends doze off. Why would she do that? Because they recover HP. Oh, uh, wow, well, okay. Can I take a nap too? No. <laughs> no, you give the naps. I'm not sure I'd want Kato to put me asleep. Yeah, I don't know. New clothes? Mm, looks cool. <laughs> Cool. It's, you know. Yeah, not probably not what I would wear, but. I know, right? <laughs> Aren't they awesome? The compliments went well. <laughs> I feel like my Kato voice is sounding more and more like Patrick Star, but like a little unhinged. <laughs> it kind of is. Just like Patrick if he snapped one day. <laughs> SpongeBob, I told you not to catch those jellyfish. SpongeBob, I told you not to touch it. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get Arthur Reed in here? <laughs> On the party with his fists. Yes. I actually don't think any of the characters are a fist fight. I feel like they should have a brawler as a character. Yeah, they should. I feel like they're pretty awesome. Oh my god, yes, I get it. These could go a little faster. See, if the Switch had notifications, there'd just be a little pop-up in the corner. Mm -hmm. And that'd be it. It wouldn't interrupt the game. I know. But of course, we can't have that. No. No, because Nintendo doesn't know how the internet works. They're afraid of trying new things. Look at her! Go! She's like <laughs> pretending to be an action hero. I know. If only I could be that cool. Windfly. <laughs> All right, shall we eat some grubber? Yeah, it's time for grub. Time for some grubbin'. Banshee tears. Oh. Who gets to drink the tears? I feel like Kato is like, yeah. your tears are delicious. <laughs> See, if I were smart, I'd be looking at what stats they up and like plan it based on that. No, we're, we're giving them food based on what we think they'd like. We gotta play this in character. Gotta make the game a little harder for ourselves. So, okay, I'm torn between Brooke because she likes to drink tears too, or tomorrow because she cries. Um, <laughs> give them to Brooke. Yeah, she's gonna drink the tears. Oh! Oh, yeah. She popped out of her seat with that. Oh, there's more. All right, well, that tomorrow right. gets some. Yeah, now tomorrow can drink her own tears. <laughs> it's okay. It's fastest way to get rid of. Slime jelly or tomorrow what's the concave? Well, I can only give concave someone who hasn't had it, like Brooke. Yeah. How disgusting. This is going to destroy my figure. All right, let's see. The blue. I don't think she's had any. Yeah, give a little wiggle. <laughs> and then who gets the last one, Kato or Tomaru? Uh, give it to Tomaru. Yeah, Kato wouldn't want that dessert. No. Oh, That's gross. <laughs> no Jello. <laughs> see, no Kato. Jello. Okay, seriously, Kato and Brooke. Brooke cares about her figure. Kato's a personal trainer. Oh, they're perfect. Yeah, why didn't we think of this before? Yeah, perfect match. Oh, everyone wants something. Okay, Kato, you just got like three outfits in a row. Yeah, d don't want her to be in a duck costume. Oh, that's pretty adorable. That's adorable, but I love the outfit she's in. That's... Eh, that's, that's kind of hideous. It's kind of hideous. But also, it's kind of textured like her outfit normally is. Oh, yeah, it kind of is. Don't make me regret this tomorrow. Okay, that's pretty hideous. Miss Eyesore wore that. She was the cleric on my file. Oh, no. Ms. Eyesore. Yeah, give it the lime one. Yeah. You can equip only the stats. I just don't want to. Mm. I want to play this the way God intended. 
<laughs> the way Greg intended. The way Greg, the arbiter of truth and canon, intended for us to play it. <laughs> that's adorable. Oh, if only it was dad. stripes, though. Oh my god, that's so cute. Why is the blue so cute in everything? I don't know. I kind of like that one, that one, that one. Uh, I like those three. I like the one all the way on the right. This one? Yeah. Oh, look how cute she is. One time I wanted to draw Dakota in opposite wear, so I drew her in a swoop neck and polka dots because she wears striped v-necks. A swoop neck? <laughs> oh, a clown robe. Ew. <laughs> what do you think I am, some sort of clown? <laughs> is the clown. <laughs> is the clown. <laughs> is Kishori. Kishori's here. If only she was in our party. Yeah, she and Samaru get along well. Yeah, both jungle ladies. All right, Kato gets it. I'm no clown. I'm a clown now. <laughs> this is our. Oh, I got like I the like, black and red. Yeah, I like that one too. I am the clown of death. All right, Kato, you look pretty badass in that. <laughs> I must admit. Yeah, she's the clown of death. All right, Squadla, we're off. <laughs> Okay, everyone's getting to know each other. Yeah, good. Oh my god. Like, I don't need- to, I don't like I have to sit through a screen for this. I know, all this blippity bloppity bloop. Blippity bloppity bloop. This is a game of just like trying to make sure you don't play as much as you can. I know. You gotta be close to that face. Oh, it is <gasps> right here. Oh my god, I you see, see you. I see you up there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I zoomed in the recording and then just zoomed like while editing. Yeah, well, you made it a little easier for yourself. I guess, yeah. Saddle up! <laughs> Saddle up, that's all she ever says. It's like, you stupid Dablute, don't you know there's no horse here? <laughs> I want there to be a horse, though. Can we talk about how Dakota's outfit looks so out of place compared to everyone else? And she's just in regular clothes. Only one more, one more face to find now. What ordeal? Think the last one will go smoothly? No, terrible bad. What if big scary monster jump out at Isn't us? Isn't there a tree speak for like scary monster? It's probably like scary awful or something. Well, that's if Greg like wrote that. it. Yeah. Pre I don't know. Greg tree speak wasn't bad. That's true. Yeah. Like Monog tree speak wasn't bad. <laughs> Dude, why did you have to say that? Dude, that's like what Brooke would say. Yeah, I know. That's not what the blue would say. No. Like, I feel so awkward making, like, using my I know, I wish you could and, like, choose what they'd say from, like, a selection or something. That'd just yeah. be, like, just a little more personality. I know. Oh, no. <laughs> Mwahaha. So we meet again. Urk. Urk. Steve Urkel cannot help you here. Humph. Aww. Pathetic. It's not even worth the effort to crush you myself. This should be enough to finish you off. Now die. <laughs> Greg, where are you? Oh, Gandalf. Oh, dear. That pile of stone must be Greenhorn Castle, yes? And that useless king. What a tub of lard. I've got something special in store for him. Mwahaha. Goodbye. Oh, it's such a kind of no. fitting. He's going like a magic enemy. Yeah. We gotta spin Gandalf all around. Like, <laughs> to cut him off the imp. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. All right, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Go Set Brooke. your trap, Brooke. Mm, this'll keep me safe. <laughs> Battle's done. <laughs> yeah, Kato's just gonna. When she levels up a little out. more, she can seriously just one shot those waves. Oh my god, she's gonna clear them. Did all. you see her just trip on it? It's so fitting. Every once in a while, something in character happens. It's only because we set her as like that personality type, though. I wish they would take that into account more. I know. I feel like they just like they standardized the characters way too much for this. I know. Well, she attacked the wrong one, but it worked because yeah. it dropped his guard because it wasn't expecting her to attack it. Ah. Uh. Oh, damn, Birch has got impaled. Brooke, no! Oh! Oh, tomorrow! Dakota, you idiot! Oh my god! Dakota, look out! She did not notice in time. No, oh, Brooke, just wait for tomorrow to heal you. Alright, whatever. I do things my own way. <laughs> don't have to waste a banana. I don't need her help. I had, like, something I was gonna say before, and now I totally forgot. Oh, it's the mid banana's fault. Yeah, it, it just fucking happens. Alright. Let me see if I can get him dancing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nope. That. Nope, not at all. Okay, I was like, I don't care much for that tune. <laughs> it's <laughs> too smack loud. Tomorrow in the face. Ooh, Brooks' new skill. Ooh, pilfer. Pilfer. She pillages. 
swipes a banana. Oh, cool. Oh, that banana reminded me. Kato just fucking swiped it from her. <laughs> it's okay, we're good. I think we'll be fine. And better. Yeah, all better. Um, let's just let Kato go again. Yeah. K Kato could take her out. Her. <laughs> Him. <laughs> it looks like a granny. Can you blame me? <laughs> Grandma the Gray. <laughs> exactly. What? I love that like shocked face he makes when he gets hit. I know. Come on, we just gotta... Oh my god, the blue's almost dead. The blue. Mm, that's the spot. Hits the spot. <laughs> Are they gonna eat this thing when they kill it? Because they eat everything they kill. If you noticed. Yeah, they. T that does seem to be a trend. Seeing as this is an imp, it's probably sentient. Oh no. Oh no. Imp four. Goodness gracious. Tie it up on a rotisserie. Oh god, no, don't even. It's not a waifu. <laughs> I could make it a waifu, you know. You I could. could. You you fucking could. You could make literally anything a waifu. Uh yeah. do out of mm, I don't know. I'm gonna do sprinkles actually. Yeah, because I was gonna say do out of tune, but that hurts them too, so. Yeah. And like maybe not in this fight, you know. Yeah. We can sprinkle everyone so that way tomorrow doesn't have to uh use a healing spell. Yeah. Alright. Come on, people! Oh that's just tomorrow. <laughs> He's gotta be dead soon. Now he fell for the trap, did you oh, see? Yeah. <laughs> she just <laughs> smacks him in the dick. And I was like, oh, right in the round tables. Right in the staff. In me, poor old buddy. <laughs> All right, uh, he's like barely even halfway. My oh, God. Jeez, he's powerful. Well, Lee is Gandalf. Yeah, I mean, he's Gandalf the blue. <laughs> oh? <laughs> With that douchebag hair. <laughs> I love it, it's so good, isn't it? <laughs> Ouch! My body! Me poor old body. Thank go to Smart can keep on top of things right now. I know. This fight's like actually harder than you. I appreciate that though, because I always say this game doesn't have no strategy in it. Yeah. Some boss fights actually take like some effort. But like yeah, the rest of the game's combat is just kinda like you hit buttons. I feel like this game basically plays itself. Mm-hmm. I have noticed that. Although to be fair, there actually is an option to play itself. I saw I saw an autoplay option. Yes! Why? Why would anyone do that? I mean, I guess it's for like the grindy vows, you're just like going through the same ones you've already seen, but that's yeah. like, I don't know, maybe just skip it all the way then. Uh, yeah. Oh, <gasps> they got a crushy crush. Oh, OTP. Maybe sort of likes. OTP. Oh, it's a love triangle, so three of them. I know, I'm like conflicted. Why not just make it all three? Just have a threesome. Yeah, a Galgan's corrupted my mind. <laughs> same. See, now I just talk about, like, etchy shit all the time. I'm just like, wait. Yeah, wait, I, I'm not supposed to say that in public. <laughs> I'm gonna make you a weeb. I will never be a weeb. I would rather be dead. But you like waifus. That's the only part of anime I don't hate. Oh. I hate everything else with anime. Don't even start with me. <laughs> to be fair, that's my favorite part. Yes, but you like other parts. Yeah. I, I find their character designs very cute a lot of the time. That's true. I mean, your art style is, like, so fucking anime these days. Yeah. Especially, yeah. like, your character- like, tomorrow's design especially looks so anime. Yeah. It's like, the art style looks more western, but, like, the design itself, I feel like, looks anime. I mean, even her me looks kind of anime. Yeah. Like, a shaggy bag in front of her eye. I mean, half the yeah. wigs of this game look super anime. Maybe, yeah, no, I I've noticed. Alright, I think this might be the final blow. Shall we, uh, sing him to death? Yes, do it. La. Hold on a sec. Whoa! <laughs> oh, it lived? Aw. Oh, tomorrow. oh, tomorrow got it. No worry, I got. Finished job for, for the blue. Thank you, dear. <laughs> I'm Gandalf. I'm Gandalf. <laughs> In case you forgot. <laughs> he's an old man, he forgets sometimes. It's more so to remind himself that he's Gandalf. Oh, she got love and peace. That can end any feud between characters, which oh. is great. Nice. Because Kato's probably gonna have some feuds. Oh, I'm sure. She is Kato after all. Alright, then who needs the bonus XP the most? Uh, I've one of them. Do do Dakota. Brooke can handle herself. Yeah, Brooke's an independent woman. Ooh, devil's food cake. Oh, who gets that? Give that to, I wanna give it to Brooke. But yeah. like, she wouldn't want to eat that. Mm, she can indulge herself after a boss fight. Mm, yeah. That's, that's the rule with her. That's true. Brooke's dietary restrictions. <laughs> oh, blah, blah. I see you thinking about cake, Brooke. Don't you? Don't you dare? I just said I will get you into shape. This is the opposite of shape. Unless you want to be a circle. That is in fact a shape. 
<laughs> Tamara's like, no, no. Please, no. No jelly. <laughs> no jelly. Would be hungry. Oh, Kato hated it. Yuck. Like, that is a dessert? I said no desserts. I don't believe in dessert. All right. And since this is pretty much the end of the episode, why don't we put some outings out here? Ooh, yeah, we should. Oh. I want Dakota and Tamaru to go on a date. Where to? Uh, ooh, the cinema. Tamaru's never seen a movie. That's true. Tamaru has never seen a movie. Yeah. She'd be so confused. Come on, Tamaru. I want to show you a movie. Oh, what what is movie? You don't know what a movie is? <laughs> it's they're only the best thing ever. We can get popcorn as long as there's no peanut in them. And soda. <laughs> I like how Dakota voice always sounds like slightly tired. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I see him back there. Oh my god, the it's Mr. Pedo. Mr. Burns. Why is it so long, she says. <laughs> I feel like actually that's pretty in character. Tamaru has like a short attention span. Yeah, right. <laughs> Tamaru's mind is blown. She's like, whoa. Moving picture. Picture is alive. Oh. Oh no. They got the Gandalf disease. Phew, it's finally over. Felt like eternity. <laughs> no, see, Tamara fell asleep. Oh. <laughs> it's her short attention. It was all dream. Did not see movie. Fell asleep. Oh my god, now you gotta draw the two of them together. I will. Draw them at the movie theater and Tamaru just like in awe. <laughs> Being or half asleep. Yeah. Either one. Yeah. Should anyone else go on an outing? I feel like- I want Brooke and Kato to go somewhere now. Brooke and Kato? Yeah. They um... can go to... None of these are really workout places. Yeah, maybe the seaside. You can get some swimming done. Yeah. Alright, sure. So do they always go with the one they're in the room with? Uh, I don't know. Probably, because she had no level with Kato. Come on, Kato, show me some of your backstroke moves. Oh, the backstroke is very good for getting you into shape. <laughs> don't underestimate it. That rock looked like a whale. <laughs> Northern whale. Oh, see? Oh, they are working out. Perfect. This is perfect. Look at Brooke shake. I know, she's so cute. Oh my god, you see that flip? Okay, warm up complete. That was just the warm up. Yeah, we gotta do the actual workout next. <laughs> and I feel like Brooke and uh, Brooke and Blue need to go somewhere together. Yeah. Blue has to show Brooke she still likes her too. She's conflicted. Of course, yeah. Dakota's not sure who to confess her romantic feelings for. Send them to. Let me see. Send them to. They can go to the cafe again. Yeah, make them go to the cafe again. That's their special spot. Yeah, it's just for the two of them. I like that Brooke's the one inviting her. Yeah, I know. <laughs> She's like, stop talking to that jungle girl and come to the cafe with me. You need to start talking to people on your level again. <laughs> She's like, oh, yeah, of course. Dakota has no idea what that means. She's not good for you. She's a... Uh, well, let's put it like this. She's so much of an airhead, she makes you look... Oh, Lord. <laughs> Hazelnuts. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't know how many peanut in there. I see a uh, dark Ben back there. Uh, yeah, I know. I saw that too. It's dark Ben. <laughs> oh, chalk rock. Oh, chalk rock. All right, someone who's hungry can get it. Let's see. They all seem pretty content right now. Yeah, but some of them, someone was hungry. I saw it before. Oh, see Kato. She doesn't want chalk rock. She'll have the banshee tears though. Yeah, she's gonna drink more tears. <laughs> Delicious. Yum. yum. I love knowing they were sad. There we go. Nice. Oh yeah, Dakota didn't have any food before. She was probably hungry. Oh jeez. Well, she went to the cafe, right? <laughs> that's true. That's true. But she only got drinks there, I thought. Oh uh, yeah. And then with that, oh, we've heard seven different songs. Awesome. Oh wow. Great. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> Thanks for interrupting the game to tell me. <laughs> So with that, I think that's everything we need to do in this video. Join us back here next time as we return over to Greenhorn to return those faces to their owners and then progress onward to the castle at Greenhorn. Ooh, I'm excited. See y'all then. Bye-bye.